Welcome, 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 welcome to the podcast. This is Mr. Ish. We're at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordea Clubhouse. I got a couple of juniors here and a staff member. So we're gonna get we're gonna jump right into it. Everybody say hello. Your Shop. names. Hi. Hi. Sup. All right, well, you didn't say your names. Like, <laughs> nobody, name's no, nobody knows you. My name's LaCour. Okay, LaCour, welcome. How old are you? Um, 10 years old. Okay, LaCour, stop moving around. Um, who else? Hi, my name is Elias. I'm 12 years old. Okay, Big Willie. And my name is Miss Margaret. She's 12 too, backwards. <laughs> um, Miss Margaret is a staff member, but she was, um, uh, she was uh, a member for a very long time. She could, she could let you know about that. Um, so what's on your mind today? Talk to me. Anybody could jump in. Basically, the day for Kids Festival on Saturday. Oh, let's talk about it. You were there. I saw you. <laughs> yeah. You, you found your book bag? Nope. Okay. Somebody just came off with your book bag then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry to hear that. How was it? I wasn't there. Oh, it was a very, about it. It was a very fun experience. A lot of people. This is not your first one, right? You go almost every year? No, this was my first one. This is your first one? Damn, I always thought you went. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice weather. I mean, it was a good turnout. Hot. I got there in the, in the afternoon. I took my girls with me. I had a good good time. Um, unfortunately, he lost his book bag. He had about four dollars in there. <laughs> he had a reward for five dollars. Whoever could find the book bag, so he stepped it up. Now nah, he lost his phone. Oh well. What else? What else is on your mind? Um. So this weekend, um. I was playing Fortnite this weekend. Oh, like every like two other two million other people. <laughs> and um, when I was playing Team Rumble, um, I was helping my brother play, and um, two days later he was actually good at the game. That's that's what I give you when I don't believe that people are interested in what you just said. Um, <laughs> maybe two other million people, but not not in this podcast. We're not doing a. a a gaming podcast. But um, it was nice that that's what you did this weekend. Miss Margaret, what you up to? Mm, I think that it's interesting that to have two members here and as, as a staff. Um, I think the only thing I really want to know is what are some things that you guys think that we should be changing here? Yeah, let's get right to it. This is like an open forum. You guys can say what you want to say and you can be truthful. There's no, uh, what they call that? There's no... Uh, not regret. There's no one. Um, what's the word I'm trying to find? I don't know. I, I lost myself right now. Go ahead. Talk to me. So, um, I think we could change here that, um, like, cursing and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it, that's one of those things that's hard because you may not curse, but there's probably 75 other kids here and, you know, they get a little aggressive and they want to use foul language. Um, we, we, I think we take, we really control that a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be it could be really worse. I think we control it a lot, and I think that if we do find out someone is using uh, b bad language or something, we usually step right to them real, pretty quick, and you know, deal with the parents and get the the directors involved and stuff like that, so that they know that this is not environment to do that. So yes, it, you know, every once in a while it leaks by, but I can't say that I have a class, or especially with this podcasting, that anyone is cursed. So. Maybe it's more like when you guys are doing homework or maybe when you're eating lunch or something like that, that, you know, they have a little more freedom. So they get into their bad language. What else? What else? What else would you guys like to change? Well, me personally, I've been here for quite some time and like things have changed. But like I want to change the most is sometimes like the activities and things that the programs that we do, mm -hmm. because we do do that. But like, like. I wanted to like change it up a little bit. But when you say change, you want you want new programs, or you want the programs that we have to to change a little bit, or you want to see newer programs. Newer or? programs. Okay, well then you have to really say what you want. Like what? Like what? Do you have to, you know, what program would you like? Boom! This is your this is your forum right now. Well, because we do try to come up with creative stuff. I mean, Margaret is in charge of STEM, and and. A lot of the, I mean, we did it in the summertime. Everyone was interested. We did it last year towards the end of the year. Um, and a lot of people were interested. So we do, you know, try to bring stuff that's interesting. We just got to get you guys to go. 
You know, a lot of you guys want to go to the same thing. They want to go to digital arts or they want to go to social rec or to gym. Mm -hmm. I think that, so my next question is, I think that's a really good point and I agree as well. But for you guys as members, how do we as staff get you guys interested? So, for example, like at the beginning of the year when we have all of our different programs out there and you guys hear about it, what are the things that have to get done for you to be interested in it? Already keeping in the back of your mind that you want to go to gym and social rec and other programs like that. So um, I think like doing it first, see if you like it or not. And then if you don't like it, you could try different stuff. And okay. then whatever program you like, you could like start doing it. See, I, the problem I have with as being a staff member is that we say something like, Oh, I'm going to teach you guys, um, uh, let's say, handwriting, script, or something like that. Oh, I'm not doing that. I got to do work. And they all, of a, they all of a sudden shut it off. But it's something that maybe is interesting. Maybe you, you a lot of the, not you particularly, not you two guys, but I'm saying a lot of the, the, the members, they just shut it off because it's like, oh, I have to do something on paper and work? Oh, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. They just want the activity that's um, very simple. It doesn't have to do with any type of, of work. And when we say work, we mean reading, we mean writing something, drawing something. So that kind of shoots a lot of the activities that we want to do. Like, I've always wanted to do a newspaper. I think a newspaper is dope. But no one is, oh, i got to write a paragraph? I'm not going to do that. It's a paragraph. It's not, write about, you know, Fortnite, what you just said. Mm -hmm. Have a gaming article about this and what's new, the new teams that are coming out or some a new game that's coming out. That's your paragraph. That's what you're going to write in the newspaper. Are you going to do that every week? That's, you know, no, I'm not doing that. So that kind of shuts down our newspaper. Mark, you don't want to write a newspaper. I don't want to do newspaper. We're here for you guys. We want to assist you. We want to show you. We want to give you all the, all the materials for you to do it yourself and maybe guide you guys because we do have rules. We have to have certain things, you know, implemented in it, certain things that we can't talk about. Um, so we have to have all that. But we don't want to do it ourselves. We want to help you do it. So we could easily have a gaming club here. But it's not going to be put an Xbox downstairs and you guys just play games. It has to be the history of gaming. The this. There has to be a point for it. There has to be something educational about it. There has to be classes about it. And when we say gaming, it doesn't necessarily mean in front of a TV. It could be Monopoly. It could be other board games. Maybe even make your own game. And then get to the point where you're playing video games. And no one wants to do that extra step for it. So that's why these programs, you know, we could put a little box and have you guys put whatever programs you want in, in there. And we could look into it and how we could get it done. I mean, a suggestion box. I mean, we're pretty open. You could tell Miss Margaret, you could tell myself, you could tell Miss Francesca or any of us. Oh, you know, we should do this. We should have a chess club or we should have a debate club or something like that. And we'll definitely get it done. It's just a matter of, you know, get more than 10 people, 12 people, that's about a good number, 12 people to to do it or, or they're going to be interested in it, and we'll get it done. What do you think, Elias? Oh, that's what we need. Well, sometimes I feel like, like how you said earlier, Mr. about like if we do a newspaper or like a writing assignment, some people don't want to do that assignment because like we come out of, out of a long day of school mm -hmm. and we're just working, working, working. Well, at least some of us. And, like, when we get here, sometimes, like, people just want to, like... I understand that part. They want to go play something or they want to just, like, relax. And sometimes we just don't have the energy to do some, some stuff. That's all good. But you also have to look at the other picture. If you don't learn something new, if marketing tried doing, let's say, STEM, myself tried doing digital arts or photography or something like that, it's not going to be available to you guys. And if it's not available to you guys and you just have the three core things that you want to do, we're not we're not doing you guys justice. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me specifically as a STEM specialist, I think it's really interesting because I am teaching, essentially, I'm teaching a core subject that you guys are learning about already, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And I my programs are not the way that you guys learn in school. They're completely different. And even when I take out the work, like, even when I take out the writing and the reading, kids still don't want to participate. 
or even when I do like art or I don't well I've been here for a long time you guys have, have probably seen me in every single program I'm in the gym the third floor the ground floor I'm everywhere doing everything running programs with ish um, I know some of you guys did KBGC TV last year that went very well we got to go to some events but uh on the members and I don't really feel like we're getting meet halfway when it comes to programming. I, I agree with you. Like, this is something that, for podcasting, it's like, I don't want to talk in front of a mic <laughs> or, or, or anything like that. So it's like, I, it's not that I'm forcing you guys, but I'm give it, really giving you a forum for you guys to speak. And public speaking is going to be part of your life forever. Whether you go to college or not, if you go to work, you may have to speak in front of people, you know, at a meeting. If you go to school, you may have, you know, something that you have to do a report in front of somebody. So this is an exercise that could take some of those fears away. Yes, it's a small group of four, but it's still an exercise. It's something they'd be like, you know what, I'm really, really shy, but now, you know, I have this forum that I could speak, and people are not really looking at me. They're just hearing my voice. So maybe that breaks out of some, some of your shyness. But I think this is a very important part of it, and it's also, you know, you know, a builder of technology. I mean, this is something that, that it's the now. You know, people go on their phone, listen to a podcast, and that's how they learn things. So I, I think this is important, but this is something that, you know, this could easily stop if you guys stop coming. You know, if you stop coming to the podcast, then this becomes something else quick. It becomes a radio show or it becomes, I'm not going to waste my time. It's going to be something else. So, you know, you guys have to mm -hmm. also, um, uh, you know, understand that we try to bring some new programs and we're willing to do what you want, but you have to meet us halfway. Like Ms. Margaret said, you really have to meet us halfway. Because we really think about these things. You know, equipment costs a lot of money. Then we have to sell ourselves to our boss. And that's not easy. And then they have to look at, oh, you know, uh, it, what age group is that for? Oh, once we say it's for everybody, then that gives us another open door. Oh, from 6 to, to, to 12 to 18, that everybody could do it? Yes, everybody could do it. So that gives us more of an advantage. So and then we have to keep fighting for these things. These, they, they don't come easy. We have to, yes, this will work. I'll do the lesson plans. I'm the one that's going to teach. I'm the one that do. So once you start putting, you know, our heart into it, and I and I think I speak for Miss Margaret, once we put our heart and soul into it, we want you guys to at least give us half, you know, 50% of, of that. We don't want you to be the 110%, but just at least be like, you know what, I'm going to try this. And and it's hard because as a, as a tween, that's what we call them, mm -hmm. tween when you're like 12 years old and 10, 12, you guys don't like to take chances. You like to do whatever's uh, easy and secure and, and the same for you. So, but we are not going to shoot you guys down. I hope that, that you prove us wrong and come up with some activities that we could, you know, implement. That's all I can hope for. So, um, I want to say real quick um, mm -hmm. that I think um, summer camp and after school is a good thing because every single day, in school, you see the same people, but when you go to camp, you see um different people each day. So, and podcasting is good because you um you're gonna like like you think of someone as something, but but like you get to know them more. That's true. I mean, there's been times that we sit here, and 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 I give you an example. I had some young ladies about a couple of days ago. And we we're talking about music. Now, I I thought that it was gonna be a what is his name, a a boogie, a boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> and I was I thought it was gonna be those conversations. Uh, you know, Takashi sixty nine. I'm like, all right, I'm not ready for this conversation. And they truly blew my mind. They one of the girls was like, I like Frank Sinatra. I like this. I was like, whoa. Or I like Marvin Gaye. I was like, excuse me, what's going on in this in this table? Like, mm -hmm. I was so. I was so overwhelmed that they, they're not just listening to what was happening now. They're listening to, to music that maybe their parents influenced them. Maybe their grandparents influenced them. Maybe something that just, you know, they listen to when they're, you know, someone is, is cooking or cleaning in the house. And now it becomes something that I like Frank Sinatra. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I never thought that, that these ladies, young ladies that are 12 years old were going to say something like that. So, you know. We don't. We can't judge a book by its cover. Basically, that's that's the the line I have to say. What else is on your mind, guys and girls? <laughs> what else you got to say? 
Come on, we can't have no no, no empty space because then we go into the my want wants. Come on, you said you had a lot on your mind. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I'm on my mind is that um, some kids like they don't like doing homework like when they get to the um Power like hour. early yeah like early, but I think it's good because if you don't do your um real homework. Like what everyone, what, whatever, what, whatever you want to do at home, it will take. It will take longer. It, mm-hmm. I'll let Miss Margaret answer this one for you, because mm-hmm. she's she's on the we call it on the her boots on the ground. That means that she's she's dealing with it on on a daily basis. I think it's interesting. Um, one because Power Hour is a national program. And so that just means that every single Boys and Girls Club in the whole United States has to do an hour of power hour. So when you guys are complaining, I'm like, yeah, the teen, the preteens all over the country are making the same complaints. But the reason that we do that is because how many of you guys actually get help with homework at home? Me. Yeah. A lot of kids don't. Yeah, you guys are lucky. And I was one of those kids. I didn't get to go home. I didn't go home to a mom. I went home to my siblings. I went home to go have to help some other kids with homework. So I didn't get that help. And if I didn't have power hour, I probably would have failed a couple of grades, to be very honest. So just hearing you guys do that. And I know that this year there are some new people that are in charge and there's a lot of changes like for example miss francesca now being program director with daryl me being head of the floor you guys have to do power hour now um i know that those changes are hard to get past and to try to get with but i think that together as a floor with you guys and myself included i think that we've gone pretty far um i know elias you've been on the third floor before and i bet that you can tell the difference from when having to meet up every day to split up to go to programs. You guys are not allowed to wander around the building anymore. There's way less incidents. The staff are aware of everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. Um, It's really only for your safety. But as a kid, I can also understand why it's really hard to understand that, which is why I try to be as lenient as possible while also doing my job, which is making sure that you guys are getting the education, the safety that you deserve while being in this building. And just understand, there's, there's some kids, I, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time on the cadet floor for the last couple of years, and there's some kids that have dual language. So they're getting homework in English. Their parents just came with them from Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, wherever, Honduras, wherever they came from, and they, that's not their language. So, you know, even though it might be as simple as a math problem, but when it's written and it's like, a, 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 you know, Jim went to the store with $23 and, and there's a written one. They don't, they're not, they don't understand that this is the sum they have to divide. They can't get that, that comprehension. So we do have um, staff members here, some of them that are, you know, fresh in college, just got out of high school, let's say, and some older people like myself. And we could, be, we could use our knowledge to help you guys, you know, uh, conquer those 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 pr- those problems that you may have, especially with the dual the dual language situation. So we become um, very important to the parents. The parents are working one, sometimes two jobs. They got to come home, give you a bath. They got to cook. They yeah, you'd do be all surprised how many parents come in asking us, begging us to help you guys with your homework, to tutor you guys, to do things that are above and beyond what is already expected of us. Yeah, we even get that in the summertime. Parents are like, oh, can you do the homework in the summertime? I was like, these kids want to go on trips. They don't want to do no homework. And we and we keep the, the educational part in, in the summer, maybe a little less than after school. But we still we still bring it in there. We're still doing some 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 educational work in the summer. We don't we don't give up on you guys. Anytime that we have a chance to to teach you something, we're gonna try. We're gonna give it our best. So just you just remember that that one of these days you're gonna be a parent. And you're going to want somebody to help you with homework because you got a job and you're getting out at seven and you want to spend an hour and a half or two hours with your kids and not necessarily doing homework. You want to play a game. You want to do something. You want to eat together, want to eat dinner together or take a trip to the ice cream shop or something like that. And if, and if I have to go home and do homework, it's, it just really kills my schedule. 
Because now, if I'm a parent. I get home at 7 o'clock. I don't have time to do homework. So my wife is really in charge of it. But if I had to do it, then at 7 o'clock, I have to sit there with my food and do homework with my girls. And it becomes very difficult. So I'm, I'm lucky that I have my wife there, but um, they're both in after school now. So even even with that, I just want them to be around other people and, you know, learning groups instead of just being one-on-one. Because that's how you learn in school. You learn in a group. You don't learn one-on-one. So that's an important part. What else? What else is on your mind? This, this podcast is going well. So, um... Come on, Elias. You don't have nothing else to say? What you want to start? What program you want to start? You want to do drama? Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? What you want to do? Mm, I want to... What's your ideal program? Where you feel they could get 10, 10 or 12 members to, to, to be on board? Um, I think, like, science class, because... We got, like, that. We got STEM. Same thing. I'm... That's real crazy, because I do STEM every day, and y'all be running from me, like I bite or something. Once you put a piece of paper and a pencil in front of you guys, you're going to run. Well. <laughs> Not everybody, but most of them are. Soon, you guys, your programs, the programs that you enjoy going to are going to start getting cut for some more education-based programs. So you guys will be in for a surprise. But I'm excited. Are you guys excited that we got a new dance teacher, a yeah. new karate y'all teacher? Y'all got karate coming up, so you y'all gonna be art. like little ninja turtles. So karate is gonna be it's gonna be fun. We we never had karate in this in this clubhouse. We had know. it before when I yeah. was a member. Oh, so I never I don't never remember that. But if we had karate, it was probably for a year or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was for for a very. It's like when we also had bomba and. Mm-hmm. I know we had fencing at one time. That was mm-hmm. pretty cool. Um, so stuff like that. I mean, I know we even had one time where we had um, the kids went out to play golf. Remember that was the summer that we had selective kid about ten or fifteen of them, and they went to playing golf courses and stuff like that. We had tennis before, so these are things that you know we have the Brent Club, um, and shout out to two of our our members that um they got full scholarship for mm-hmm. college. I know you. I don't know you know him, but Justice and what's the other kid's name? Balfour. Balfour. So they got full scholarship. They don't have to pay for nothing. And it's because of the, you know, the Boys Girls Club and because they went to the program. And they they finished the program. They were part of the, the program. And, you know, it doesn't, that's not a guarantee that you're going to get a full scholarship. But the guy was, like, impressed with them. He was like, hey, we'll give them a free ride. That's another thing. Um, I, if I made any suggestions to you guys as members, it would definitely be to stay with, Kips Bay as a member for as long as you can, which is until you're 18, because there's so many opportunities. But the opportunities are only given to the kids who are put out there, who are going to the programs. I have a lot of knowledge on Boys and Girls Club and Boys and Girls you Clubs, girl. and the amount of benefits that they have for kids of all ages. But. Yeah. <laughs> A little clap and a little shout. Don't worry about me. I'm just doing some stuff. There's a lot of um, members who don't really care about that because they're invested in a lot of other things. But there's definitely, Boys and Girls Club definitely invests in the future of our members, um, including myself. Yeah, you're a product of it. Mm -hmm. You're a product of of the clubhouse. You're a product of, of, um, um, you know, the YOY, Youth for the Year program that, that really you know, gave you a, a stardom to, to start your college years and stuff like that, which is very important. We were all very proud of, of your accomplishments and still are. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the ones that's very proud of it. I, I feel like I feel like almost like a little uncle. Every time I mention her name, I always say, yeah, why, why, two years in a row? So, you know, I don't know about two years in a row, but it's two years. Um, so that's a proud uh, accomplishment. And then, you know, being a junior staff member and being a staff member and then being promoted and, and – you know, giving the chance to to do other things in the clubhouse and then now running a, a floor by herself. She's still a young lady. She's a young lady and doing big things. So, you know, that's that's very important. Um, I've been given a lot of opportunities, and I'm pretty sure that you guys, if you take the opportunities, we'll give them to you. But the only time that I see them motivated, and this is sad to say, but when there's a trip. Mm-hmm. When is a trip, you're motivated. Oh, Mr. H, can you pick me? 
But when I was trying to get you to go to podcast, you like, didn't want to go. I also feel like that's on our part. Um, mm-hmm. It's interesting because I was talking to Sinclair about this the other day. I feel like we have a an obligation with what we're doing. And I feel like it's really a disservice that we aren't taking our kids out of the building. There are so many places that are cheap or free even. Um, and, of course, we're facing a lot of difficulties. As yeah. a building and planning trips take a lot of time. Um, and it shouldn't take a trip for y'all to want to go do something because that's a lot. But I do feel like the kids that do participate in activities and the ones who are there all the time should be going on trips. Like um, last year we did yoga with some Sesame Street people. Mm-hmm. Um, with the Naturals Club, and that went amazing. They got to make their own lotions. There's a lot of opportunities we want to give to you guys, but I can't take four kids on a trip. I want to plan something for my expressive arts class, and I have five kids. I can't go to my boss and say I want to go on a trip of five kids. He's going to look at me like, what happened to the other 75 of them? Yeah, I, I mean, now that we're talking about trips, I actually uh, spoke to Miss Francesca today. I saw something in the news which really caught my eye, and it's something very local. And this is the first time I get this from a director. She truly said, go find out the information and we're going to book the trip. It took me 25 minutes. I already booked the trip. Mm-hmm. And it was that simple. So just us as a staff having that leeway or that person that's going to say, okay, you think it's good? How much it costs? Um, how many kids do you want to take? What day you want to do it? Once you give them all that information and you tell them what you believe the kids could get out of it. And she says, okay, it's a go. We never had that. And I've been here six years. I know as 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 a as a staff member, I never had that from a director. Mm-hmm. So we already in a different area, and I got this trip booked in twenty five minutes. And even when I saw a cost, I saw a cost for the tour. I was like, oh, I don't know, it's gonna be a little cost. This is gonna shoot me down. Nah, nah take the better course. Take the take this one plus add the half an hour for the kids to do this. I was like, mm-hmm. for real? Okay, now it's golden. So I'll have a trip scheduled sometime soon. With, with at least 12 kids to get you out the building and, and it, you know, and see something new. And it's local. It's something in the Bronx that you probably don't even know about. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, to get that on the road. That's it? Mm-hmm. You guys are quiet now. I think we, we podcast out. I think we're done. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for being up front. Thank you for being honest. Thank you for talking. And um, we are listening. So whatever you said here, we're listening. But you better bring something to that table. Next time I see you, I'm going to ask you, what program are you thinking about so we could get this right, you know, ready? And we can't promise you it's going to happen now. So, we, we, you know, we're told the same thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it can't happen right now. So understand that we're not shooting it down. We just have to take steps in order to get. It takes a lot it, and of like, work. Whatever we're planning now, it may happen towards the end of the year. It could be that it could be that long or it could be honestly, you know what? Let's try that next week. So we don't know, but you have to say, okay, um, this is what I'm thinking about, how much it's gonna cost us, how we could do it, where we could do it, you know, it, doing a schedule and flipping a building that has a whole bunch of cadets and a whole bunch of juniors and a schedule that's already made is very difficult. It's very difficult to take half an hour from somebody and put somebody else there. So it has to be a staff member. It has to be a room that's empty. There's a lot of things that go into it. But if you bring it to the table, we'll try to make it happen. So think about something that is interesting to you guys. Gather around with your friends and let's let's get something from, from, from from the junior program. All right, guys? And we're out of here. This podcast is over. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. And we're out.